What is up everybody? It's Mortz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this Logo Cloud section we're offering now. It's a super easy to install section. As you can see, we have four logos here and you can link the logos to a certain quote, which will be related to the whole thing itself. I'm going to be using one of my own stores to show you how we're going to install the whole thing. So we're going to use that blue guard shop right here. I did it myself and we're going to use some realistic logos and put in some quotes. So you're going to see the whole process from installing the app to actually customizing it in the theme editor. And that's how we just get straight into it. If you haven't done so already, the first thing you want to be doing is heading on over to the Shopify app store and getting the app section store. It's a component library. It's made for Shopify exclusive shops and it offers a variety of different components. But the one I'm going to focus on today is the logo cloud. And one thing I'm going to say up front is that the app is free and they're either free sections or they come with a one-time charge of $9. But yeah, there's no code necessary or anything. So I think it's a pretty good deal if you compare it with the time you would normally need to code a whole section yourself or get a developer. But yeah, after you downloaded the app, you head to the Shopify admin area where you want to open up the app. You can find it underneath apps and section store, or you just look it up here. Then you're going to click on expose sections. And either you're going to look for the section right here, or you just use a little nav bar, type in logo and cloud, but you should find it with that. Yeah, that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video already. I'm owning this one already, but like I said, it's a one-time charge of $9, no reoccurring subscription fees. That means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. Right after you successfully bought it, you have to install it to your theme first before you can use it. I'm using the streamline theme on that one, but don't get confused with that. It works on every theme and if you have any problems, always feel free to reach out to us and we're going to help you install the whole thing. All right, sweet. Then we want to actually get it into your store. So we're going to click on online store right here and then on customize. And that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video, the one I showed you right here. That's the one in my own store and we're just going to get rid of that so I can show you how you can do it from scratch, click on add section, type in a logo again. And here we have the logo cloud. Let's put it all the way up here. Yeah, perfect. Almost perfect. Yeah, that's where we want it. Sweet. And then we're gonna save it up. I'm just gonna put this right here. Exactly. Okay, sweet. The first thing I want to be doing is actually putting in a random image. So you can see it's actually getting filled with content straight away. Yes, I'm happy with that. And the same applies to all the other ones as well. And we can change the text as well. We just say like, especially nice at night. You can of course fill it with whatever content you prefer. It's just a little text filler right here. And it's written by that's health. Perfect. Sweet. That's the whole concept to all the other blocks as well. And another thing you can do, I'm going to show you on that one right here is how you can customize the whole thing. And that's something you can do by clicking on the block itself. Here you can first set a headline. So we could say green light as well. I'm just going to show you so you can see what's a uh, part of the section is afflicted. The color is changeable. We're going to put a little blue there. Hope you can see that. can change the font size. Let's make it a bit smaller. So the main focus is on the logos itself and the bottom margin it has to the other thing right here. I'm happy with it being aligned in the center, but you could just change that as well. If you're not happy with the quotes and just want to use it as a simple logo cloud, you can hide those as well. So it looks like that. And if you want to have it, you can change the interval as well, how many milliseconds it takes until it shows the next quote and the next logo gets highlighted. The image width is something we can change as well, but I was pretty happy with that. And the text font size can be made smaller too. And then there's a bunch of other small things we can change, like the color right here, the section background color. Let's maybe give it this little blue touch. 
it's not going to look nice. I just want to show you all the customization options they're having. And then we have some super generic margins we can put to the whole thing and the content width to the whole section. If we want to make it a bit smaller, it's all going to get put a bit more to the side. Let's save it all up, have a look at it in the live version. Let it load up first, and then we're going to give our live version a little reload. And you should perfectly see how it got changed. And that was pretty much it. If there are any questions, always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. And if you liked what we did with this section, there's no hesitation in giving a like or a follow. Definitely helps us keep up that motivation to build more sections. And with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.